Happy New Year, everyone. So I've already had a little bit of a disaster in the reef. This is a Petco 20 gallon long. I bought this at the dollar per gallon sale with plans to use it as a quarantine tank, possibly a frag tank in the near future, but I woke up one morning with water on the floor. The seam that I actually siliconed started leaking, so rather than siliconing it again, I decided just to transfer everything into something more secure for the time being. I had this tank laying around, drained everything, threw it in here, but I wanted to make sure this tank ran into my previous filtration. So I bought this EHOPS Overflow. I found this at the local fish store. I think it's a PF800 is the model number. It has a one inch down drain, so it was really easy to hook it up to my system and be able to use the sump for this display tank. Now I didn't want to drill the tank, so I had to plumb my return right up and over into the display. I wasn't a huge fan of this because it looks pretty ugly from the outside, but let's be honest, the extreme amount of silicone and the rim on this tank aren't the prettiest things either. Now, what I don't like about this return, it's a single drain, so if something were to clog, there's no backup, it would just overflow onto the floor. And there's no lid either. So not only is this thing really loud, but it has a lot of dangers to it. Um, it's going to be high maintenance. I'm going to have to clean the grid. And as you can see, that clear tubing already has some algae growth in it. And it's only been in there for, I'd say, a week. This is only going to be a temporary setup until the new tank gets built. I really hope the livestock does well in the next week, week and a half while I'm waiting on the new display. There's definitely going to be some coral warfare. But I'm hoping that I have enough time to shoot some videos of the plumbing and the setup of the new tank and stand. So you guys get an idea of how I had to do it. Now, I really wanted to show you a video of the deep blue cube that I actually have. I've had this tank running for about six months now, and it's definitely gone through some new tank syndrome, as I've had some diomes, crazy algae, bubble algae, and amtasia. So I had to actually change my livestock a little bit. I had to add an emerald crab and a couple peppermint shrimp, as I ideally only wanted to have snails as my cleanup crew for this tank. Now, I'm keeping this tank really small fish themed. The biggest fish is that pennant rassi that's floating around, and I kind of regret because he's three inches and is a giant compared to the rest of them ever putting it in here. The coral selection is also really minimal too. Nothing hard, no SBS, mostly LPS and soft corals. As you can see in the rock work here, I have a collection of gonopora that I picked up. Now, I've actually picked up also quite a few really nice favias from legendary corals, which are on the other rock work, but when they grow out and create a good pattern amongst the rock with some really colorful additions. Now, as you know, LPS have long sweeper tentacles, so they're on the other rock to prevent any kind of warfare. I did place a couple on this rock, some of my favorite ones, just because it's a good viewing angle. The fish are really simple. There's five tremagobies, which are these really small red gobies. They do a lot of perching and jumping around the tank. They're really fun to watch feed. There's a yellow banded possum rassy, which is probably the sweetest fish in the entire tank. Peaceful, hangs out with everyone else, and I recently picked up this pennant wrasse. The pennant wrasse eats cr like a, a fiend, and I regret putting him in here a little bit also because I have to feed the tank a little more to keep up. The bio load was very small up until I had him as well, so the tank's now slowly trying to build its resistance to the extra nutrients. I recently added marine pure cubes in the tank and added aquaforce bacteria, hoping that's going to help slow the algae growth down. So if any questions, leave a comment. I'll do an updated video in the Pico Take next week. Till then, happy reefing.